Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be making this cool iridescent material. It's super simple and easy to follow along. So the way it's gonna work is we'll first build out a basic scene using a UV sphere and a plane. Then add some lights to the scene. After that, we'll get into the shaders editor and build out our material using two shaders. The first one will be a procedural texture. For the second one, we'll be using a PBR image based concrete texture. We'll then mix them both to get our desired result. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we have a new scene. So first off, we'll press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Right click, Shade Smooth. Then we'll add a plane and move it behind the sphere. Next, we'll add a camera. We'll head on over to the output properties and change the resolution to around 2000 pixels. Now hit the tilde key, go into the front view and press Ctrl Alt 0 to snap your camera into the view. Now for the lights, we'll be adding four light sources to the scene. First, we'll add a plane, move it up along the Z axis by four. We'll give this an emission shader. So split your view and under your shaders editor, hit new, delete the principal BSDF, press shift A and search for an emission node and give it a strength of five. Next we'll be adding two spotlights. So press shift A under light, select the spotlight, move the first spotlight to here, scale it down by 0.3. Give it a power of 250, a radius of 1 and a spot size of 60. Get the blend to around 0.3. For this one, we'll give it a power of 1000, a radius of 3 and a spot size of 30. Set the blend to around 0.3 as well. Make sure you have switched to cycles. Now hit the tilde key and go into your camera preview. Next, we'll go ahead and add an HDRI to the scene. So go into your walls tab, press shift A and search for an environment texture. Locate your HDRI. I'll leave a link down below for the one that I've used. Press Ctrl T and set the rotation to around 145. Under your render properties, Go into the Films tab and check on Transparent. Okay, so now we've got our lights done. Let's hop on into our main shader. Select the object, hit New. Give your material a name. We'll be using procedural nodes as well as PBR nodes to get our desired result. So first off, let's change the values in our principal BSDF. Metallic to 1, Roughness to 0. Let's go ahead and add a color ramp. Press Shift A and search for a color ramp. Switch from RGB to HSV and from near to far. Give both the markers around the same color. Change the position of marker 1 to around 0.1 and marker 2 to 0.6. Select the node and press Ctrl T and switch to the object coordinate. Now let's go ahead and add a noise texture. Press Shift A, search for noise, and place it between the mapping nodes. Set the scale to around 2.5, detail to 7, roughness to 0.1, and distortion to 0.2. Now go ahead and add a mix node. Press Shift A, search for a mix. Switch on to the color tab. Plug in the object coordinate to B and set the factor to around 0.3. Now go ahead and add a U saturation node. Plug the color into the color and the color into the base color. So let's go ahead and preview this. 
select the node and press control shift and click head on over to the material preview so this is what our material looks like right now let's go ahead and frame this select all the nodes and press ctrl j press n let's label it as iridescent so for our pbr texture we'll be using this one that i got from quixel and i'll leave a link down below so press shift a search for a principal bsdf select the node and press ctrl shift t and locate your textures once you locate them blender will automatically set it up for you we'll adjust the displacement scale to around 0 0.05 now in order for our displacement to work we need to enable the displacement so go ahead into your material properties and under settings in the surface section select displacement and bump Control shift click on the node to preview it you can go ahead and adjust the scale to 2 we'll also be adding in another U saturation node right here and give it a saturation of 0 and we'll be adding a brightness contrast node and give it a contrast of 0.7 let's go ahead and select all the nodes and frame it as well we'll label it as concrete so this is what our concrete material looks like in the rendered view now we need to add a mask between the two which is our procedural material and our pbr material first we'll need a mix shader node plug in both the materials press shift a and search for a color ramp this color ramp will be controlling our factor set the marker to around 0.1 control shift click on the mix shader node to preview it so this is what our material looks like right now so in the original shader i gave the concrete texture a rotation of around 30. you can go ahead and play with the u and saturation node to get a different and a desired result As far as your render properties go, you don't need to change any other settings except your render samples and your denoiser. That's it. And make sure your engine is set to cycles. If you want this blend file for free, you can head on over to my Patreon page and get it. I'll leave all the necessary links down below in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.